the gorgeous Merritt Royal Hotel and Casino in pristine Cyprus, playing host to a premier High Roller Series. Brent, hit the music. This is Super High Roller Series Europe. Brent, hit the music. It is final trying, table man. coverage of event number three, the 25K Short Deck Tournament. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks in our broadcast studios in Las Vegas. It is short deck time, and Brent, it is Tony G time as we take a look at our leaderboard presented by GG Poker. I am here for the captain, Tony G. Let's put on a show, huh? What do what? you think, Let's Jeff? Let's do this. Danny Tang, our chip leader. Chris Brewer in the mix. We see Santi again at another final table. Robert Flink and Paul Pua round out our final table. If you register ahead of time for tournaments. Yeah, so it's like a thousand dollars. Chop off the rake. Okay, yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter if you're gonna play it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. So our final table players still get that option. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Tang limps in with the ace queen of hearts, and Tony G looks down at ace king. It says all of it. I think I called, but can I just get a mix count, please? No. I, I want to count. I think I'm called. <laughs> Tangle asked for a count to be sure, but. Nah, or slow rolling. But it does appear he's getting the chips in. 1,200,000. Yeah. Same hand oh. again. Hold on. Ace queen? Uh, <laughs> same ace queen. <laughs> uh, and here we go, Tony G, the one all in and at risk. Just needs his ace king to hold up against tanks. <laughs> ace queen of hearts. No, we'd get Same a hand, identical. I think his seat's a different this time. <laughs> Jack nine eight two diamonds. Tank could find the ten ball now. See Tony G in the slight favorite. Eight on the turn presents plenty of chop Nine, scenarios. Ten, I'll chop. Tank, queen. A ten or a queen for Tank to bust Tony G. A nine or a jack for them to chop it up. King. And it's a king on the river. Of Baghdad's out. <laughs> Gives me a chance. Finally, it's like in this game, you got the best hand, you still got a hit. <laughs> <laughs> that much is true. <laughs> <laughs> now we all got some chips to play with. Yeah. And Tony G with the Ace King of Hearts on the button, looking at four limps. Mention the limping. Mention the shoving. Check. Now check, I did not see. I didn't see there. that coming either. I think you're really should be trying to get that heads up. Maybe just take it down pre, or just find a way to flop the best of it. Yeah, <laughs> five ways. That's about as sweet a flop as. Right, but even then, it's not like he's see. comfortable with it. He doesn't know it. Yeah, he's, he's still going to be concerned about clubs. Maybe a set of eights, could be a set of queens, ace queen. The field whittled to two. Uh, I mean, this is ideal. Oh, my. wow. Jack of hearts on the turn. The straight draw and the flush draw for Tony G, but now two pair for Santi. Yeah, Santi with. The spike, 9-10 gets there, King-10 gets there. You don't love Ace-Jack. Ace-King of Hearts, you're feeling much better with with that backdoor flush draw that is coming home. Plus, he's got a gut shot to the straight. This is a strong Ooh, bet. The over bet. Wow. The snap call by Tony G. You see the equities, bottom left corner of your screen. Run pretty close. And it's the 10 on the river. Tony G makes a straight. 1.16 million in the middle. Oh, 
This is yours. No, 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 he slows no, down. Yours. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Tony G looking for a hint of value. I don't think we're going to get it. Obviously, a king makes Broadway, a nine makes a low end. We don't beat anything else. No way Tony would be value betting a hand like ace 10. Clubs get there. Yeah, we're. We can't even call 200,000 here. So quickly the tables turn in this game. Santi not going to waste a time bank on this one. Rip City again. Brewer with the seven of clubs. Tang looks down at a couple kings. Yeah, not. I mean, you would think he's high fiving and no limit holem. You're certainly in love with two kings in this game. You sort of realize quite quickly. Oh dear. All right. Well, <laughs> I can only be probably 60% at best, even against a hand like a7 suited. Paul Pua is extremely short. Jeff, this could be a spot where you consider folding king's yeah. preflop in short deck because of the payouts and the chip dynamics in play. About a 22k pay jump from 6th to 5th. Staring down Pua's stack. Probably looking at the tournament clock and the payouts. Every player right now, seeing the pain on Danny's face, thinks, okay, he's definitely got kings or ace king. Yeah. Here we go. Yo. <laughs> Aces. Kings. Kings for Tang. He's all in and at risk against Chris Brewer's ace seven of clubs. Have a king. You had a king? Good for me. King nine. Oh, I'd be a, I might be a favorite once you have a king. King nine of space. Yeah, really. Equity's already running pretty close, and Tony G mentioned that he mucked a king. Ten nine seven. For looking for an ace or a seven. Ace yeah, five. pretty good flop for the two kings. <laughs> Oh, the turn is the ace of diamonds. That's what Brewer right, called now, for. No sweat. <laughs> black hole. Now he deserves a diamond, right? Yeah, and black now nine. Tang needs a king. Oh, black good. Last king. Or diamonds. Still lots of outs. Oh, yeah. That's super. King of clubs for diamonds. Probably diamond. Card. Oh, it's a seven. Oh, wow. Seven's full. We say good game to wow. Danny Tang. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty him. brutal ending for Tang. Uh, he had nearly 50% of the chips yeah. in play at one point, yeah. came in as our chip leader, <laughs> and just could not win an all in. It's the game. Be weird oh, to have the World Series like of Poker going on during football season. Kind of cool, yeah. Uh, if by weird cool you mean man. amazing. Yeah. My two favorite things in the world. Football and poker. They collide. Doesn't get this any fall. better than this. With a little side of college basketball. A little taste. Early regular season college basketball. Wait a little bit on that. But best of luck to your Bonnies. A7 of diamonds for Pua. Yeah, I I think Pua is, is extremely sharp. I, he has to imagine that Tony is limping quite heavy. Considering what's been happening with Chris Brewer moving all in, applying pressure. He knows Tony's got a pretty good hat. Not to mention Santi limped right behind him. A7 of diamonds, not a great shove here. Ace 10 9 with one diamond. Tony G's hand is best. Even now, Paul thinking, oh, boy. This is the hell with it. Let's do it. No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Tony G makes the call. Pretty significant favorite in this game. Nice. At 72%.
เปลวังเกลนี่ We're looking for okay. a seven of backdoor cards to make a flush or a straight. Nine percent chance to chop. King is good. King yeah. is good if you're Tony G. Ten, nine, seven. Some chop outs though. Form of a ten or a nine. A seven will grant Pua the outright win. King of Diamonds was that fun. You know that happy chops. River card. Oh. Is the eight of diamonds, and that'll do it for Paul Pua. Out in fifth. I didn't push all in. <laughs> for ninety thousand dollars. For Santi. All in. All in. Brewer says all of it with the Ace Nine of Hearts. And Santi puts the chips in. Gamble. Here we go. Chris Brewer with the ace nine of hearts. Santi Zhang all in and at risk with two queens. The slight favorite over Barely. that ace nine yeah. suited. It's like 55 45. Yeah. That's Tony G and you say. See, I know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Crazy. I've sort of become an expert. No. I didn't fall the ace. <laughs> Four million chip pot. <laughs> and an ace in the window as it comes to ace a seven. Santi resigned to just two queens. There's plenty of queens left in this game. <laughs> it's better not to play pots. <laughs> nearly, nearly. <laughs> There's paint on the turn. You're going to paint. Yeah, no paint. Going to need paint on the river. Like that you guys know, we'll in the form of Queen of Clubs. Either, so nah. or Queen of Hearts. River card. Good game. All right. To seven. Good guys. It's a good game to Santi Zhang. His second <laughs> final table appearance. And his fourth place finish is worth $123,750. Yeah, this kid's <laughs> a phenom. Especially when it comes to short deck, Jeff. As as you're all in before the flop. Extremely <laughs> impressed <laughs> with his play. Two time. Make it I entertainment know. because, like, this is a grind, you know. It's like, yeah, it's, it's fine, but it's not like. Yeah, they've done a pretty decent job there. The hotel's super nice, at least. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. I don't. I mean, for me, I don't care. It's like, it doesn't even matter. It's Not that I'm rooting for this to get over anytime soon, but got plenty of time to get holy okay. crap yeah. am I pumped up for this cash game. Check. Jeff, guess what? What's that? You and I are going to be on the call. Are we really? We're going to take this thing home. That's awesome. Yeah. Spicy little turn yeah, card now. Tony All G. of a sudden, Tony G finds life. And spikes it on the river. Nothing but the nuts for the captain, Tony G. Pivotal pot as well against our chip leader. Blocker bet, uh, just hoping to get called by a queen, and uh uh, not gonna work. Weird spot for the flinkster. When you have two kings, mm. it's it's sort of hard to give your opponent credit for having king jack. And wow! Oh my god! Oh my! What just turning happened? his kings into oh, a bluff. Oh my goodness! But Tony G had the goods. 
Hit the jackpot. <laughs> On. Okay. So let's dance. Ace Jack for Flink. Has Brewer found his two step partner? What? Because I said let's dance when he put all the chips in. Oh boy. Just thinking of yeah, I think Ace Jack is very close. Probably elects to call knowing that Brewer's been so shoving a little wide. It changes as far as his shoving range as he's not a chip leader. So uh, let's go back to that 10 8 offsuit million. hand. Certainly Four would not be million. open shoving that. Three million. But he would be open shoving something like Ace 9 suited, Ace 8 suited. King Jack suited, King Queen suited. So Flink has all of that beat. There it is. Yeah, there is that call. Here we go. Robert Flink all in and at risk with the Ace Jack against Chris Brewer's Ace King of Hearts. 60 40 is not. <laughs> Chop it up. Chop it up with so many chops. <laughs> Usually it's been chops all day. So. We've seen plenty of chops. That's probably 50%. Most recently between these two. Again, flink the one at risk. Yeah. Oh boy, Here comes queen ten eight. Straight draws for both. Flink with that two way straight draw, looking for a nine or a king. King nine. And down, fifty percent to hit. No, ace is lost. Shark would be devastating. Yeah, you're over fifty percent to hit. Seven on the turn. Brewer, the three to one favorite to bust Flink, who's looking for a nine. The slow peel, so painful. Or a king to peel, stay so alive. No I, just, I just want to rip it off. Just be done. No chop. Her card. All right. It's the ace. That does it for Robert Flink. Good job. You played great. Yeah. Good luck. Out in third for one hundred sixty-eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. And Brent, I think Tony G summed it up. He said you played great. He really did. Yeah, Flink's a superstar. It's just inevitable in this game. Tony G on more than a two-week water fast entering this series. And that is a straight for Chris Brewer. That ace yes. swings low. So that is a flop straight, if you're confused at all by the percentages. That is one of the interesting wrinkles about short deck and how that ace plays. Oh, boy. Oh, aces and queens now for Tony G. A bit of a disaster card for Tony G. Top two for him. However, he now obviously could win the hand if he were to fill up by the river. Brewer with a monster in his mindset. Straight with that flush draw potential on the river. An ace of diamonds would be cool. devastating for Tony G. Brewer bets one million. Brewer recognizing the fact that his hand is vulnerable. With the overbet, trying to sort of protect, deny equity from what could be available. Time extension use granting Tony G an additional 30 seconds to act. Just check call. About 2.5 million in the pot, oh. and the river is a queen. My goodness. The captain, Tony G.
has delivered. And leads. For 1.8 million. Brewers disgusted. Pained by the spot. More of a spot. I mean, I don't know. Andrew Jamma set. On the clock. I guess he got his loose ace queen, but. I don't know. Summed it up well. I, mean, I guess you can play like ace nine, nine seven this way or something. Ace seven. Ah, oh, man. If I call it win, yeah, you're definitely gonna say I'm in, I'm in slow line, but. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't know. I believe. Another time bank used. <sighs> I think I'm getting berated at either, either decision I make here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's probably so ridiculous for me to fold. Tony G remaining calm. Cool, collected. Really, I really think he was having it. Brewer does make the call. He'll see the bad news. 8-6 you had? I mean, I should fold. It's a bad call. It's just so hard to... He's being a little hard on himself. I didn't move all in. I mean, it's like... It's one of the hands you could have easily. I, I thought you had 8-6. I understand. Just kind of... This game, four outs, is like... No, no, no. no. Sorry. No, I, I mean, I just made it bad. I don't know how you play it. I mean, it's hard to... I yeah, you played, played it. It. you played it well. I played it bad. I understand. King Jack of Spades oh, for Tony G. This might be. Oh boy, I don't know. I mean, you know, Tony's shoving kind of on a tighter range. Jack ten suited is beautiful. It's probably close. He's flipping a coin in his mind if he just wants to call or not. He seems kind of over it, so he might just flick it in. That's sort of my. There it is. Yeah. Does make the call. Here we go. Chris Brewer all in and at risk with the Jack ten of hearts. Tony G in pretty good shape, especially for this game. King Jack of Spades. A win for Brewer would get him back to almost six million in chips. It comes Queen eight six with one spade. Opens up some more outs for Brewer. You see him on the top of your screen. Looking for a 10 or a 9. Can he find it on the turn? Cannot as the turn know, brings a not. 7. <laughs> huh? I had no clue if I was supposed to call or not. I have no Still 7 outs for Brewer. Well. Needs a 9 or a 10. Yeah. Or this event is over. Good game. The river is On a the jack. Champ. <laughs> yes, baby. The, bunny's the, champ. the bunny's the champ. It's no longer fun when the bunny's got the gun. Boom, boom. It is Tony Everyone's G's title. A champagne for the casino. Come on. Let's celebrate. Come on, Rob Yang. Leon, I want it for you. Everyone's coming to Kings next. Kings, Kings, Kings. My new sponsor. Last minute edition. Then you have some other I've got three sponsors and I have one more open. Good game. So, no, you're good. I'm lucky, I was lucky. No, you played well. His second I career can claim short I'm the best deck now, Paul. tournament title. Uh, it's a call. I can live. <laughs> Winning event number uh, three of I'm Super High Roller Series Europe. At least I have the most fun. The fast. Most fun. The fasting has worked. Now let me go back to back and win two in a row. Let me take the trophy. What's going on? The fast works, Brent Hanks. Here's our champion. Yes. 